army hearties and welcome back to johannesburg ahead of today's game against orlando pirates yes it is time for the soweto derby but before we get into that one there is quite a bit here in the notebook to catch up on and as you can see we've picked up quite a few injuries it has been 62 days since the last match so there's quite a bit to go over also after this one of course we still do have the champions league draw the african champions league draw to be more specific after today's game and then then on top of that we also need to draw our ball for our next rule in this save here in South Africa so before we get into that lot we are going to go over these injuries first of all and the first one is Butzak now in the last game he picked up a tight buy for one to two days thankfully all of these injuries I believe have recovered for today's game on top of that Biliat then picked up an injury on international duty with Zimbabwe don't know how long that was, but it was a pulled knee ligament. On top of that, we then have Samir Nekovic, who picked up an injury. That was for five to seven days. That was a bruised thigh due to a robust challenge in training. On top of that, Doobie also picked up an injury. That was a tight calf picked up in training for one to three days. Then I'm not even going to attempt. You know what? Why not? Let's try his name. Sifo Saki Natia Natia. Don't know why it's twice, but it is. Natia Natia. Left back, he's in our reserves, I'm guessing. He ended up awkwardly stubbing his toe, apparently, on the ball in training. Yeah, that does sound quite awkward. Six to ten days injury for him. And then on top of that, Zuma picked up a one to three day injury with a bruised shin. Thanks to, after being the victim okay victim of a heavy challenge in training okay so he didn't dive in and injure himself no he got absolutely snapped and came away with a bruise so quite the hard man himself but without further ado let's head on over to the stadium psych ladies and gents the game decided to bait me yes it is in fact time for our african champions league group draw so let's figure out who we are going to be going up against in the group stages of this now as you can see it's only four groups to be drawn is it seeded 16 teams no seeding by looks of it so this can be rather interesting i wonder if we can get the likes of Sundown or Orlando Pirates, our fellow South African teams in our group. Who knows? Maybe there's a rule that avoids that, which would be rather nice because I would like to travel around. So we are going to quickly draw these teams out until we see our name come out. OK, so we wasn't any of those teams. Who's next? OK, we're in Group A. So we've got Egyptian side Al ah Ali, which I believe is a pretty decent side, if I remember quite rightly. There's S. Setif from Algeria and who else will we get as the final team if I'm right we can't get Sundown or Orlando Pirates if it works similar to normal Champions League which means we're going to have a Senegalese team no we should have the Senegalese team because I believe the other Egyptian team might not be able to go in our group no that rule does not apply I've just noticed group B group B does have two teams from the same nation but we have managed to get the Senegalese team. So we've got a nice little mixture. We're going to be able to have an away game in Egypt, an away game in Algeria, another one in Senegal. I think we might have episodes in all three of them, depending how they fall in the fixture list. I'll try and get us going to each of those, have a little bit more variety and explore a bit more of Africa. But enough rambling from me. Let's finally get on over to the stadium. Right, ladies and gents, game time is finally here. And as you can see, Sundowns has already played. So they're going to be sitting back and relaxing whilst they enjoy today's match. Because as you can see, we are also televised as were they. So without further ado, let's crack on. Let's get on inside. As you can see from the league table, by the way, they're probably hoping for a draw. They're hoping for both us and Orlando Pirates to drop two points. Worst case scenario, they're probably hoping Orlando Pirates win. Because, of course, we are within four points of them. And a victory will put us within one. But let's head on over to the tactical screen. As you can see, that's rather disappointing. It's a derby, and yet we couldn't sell out for this one. Orlando Pirates, drop your ticket prices down. Get everyone in. Get it packed. 
as you can see though 34,907 it's not too empty out of a 40,000 capacity very good pitch condition here today 24 degrees celsius and calm which is actually surprisingly cooler than my bedroom right now it's 26.2 in here just for some reference now opposition instructions we are going to apply them as you can see we're suggested to go to a cautious mentality from our assistant now as you can see i've already gone for a balanced when we usually do go for a positive so we're going to go with balanced hopefully it's not too aggressive and hopefully if needed we can drop back it's okay we can go back if needed and we can also push on a little bit more if needed as well but our team for today is a tiller in goal Mabeliso is now at left back alongside combo me on Mafoho and Frostler that is because Mabeliso is basically as good as Helanti he's been begging for game time as you can see I've promised to start playing him Hopefully he can play well. If he doesn't, I'll get rid of him. He can complain and we can have Helanti back in the lineup. Alongside them is Blom, Alexander and Biliat in central midfield. Hopefully, of course, when we do the rule draw here today, we can get something that doesn't stop me bringing in a brand new central midfielder and we can finally upgrade Alexander. Then we have Dolly on the left hand side, Futsack on the right, Nekovic up front on the bench consisting of Peterson, Mafalela, Halanti, Bacchus, Zuma, Manyama and Ranti. So let's submit that team. As we can see, it's gone down pretty decent. Pretty decent. I'm happy with that. Not so happy with the top bit, but the rest of it, plenty of green. Plenty of green. So they are going for two changes to their lineup here today, but we're going to head into the dressing room. So, you know what? Bit of motivation. I expect. No, I do not. I know how hard you. Do it for the fans. Do it for the fans. I know how hard fought this rivalry is. Go out there and play for the fans. Exactly. Six of them. Six of them. Love you guys. The rest of them don't really care. They really don't care. As you can see, they're on an interesting run of form. Draw, draw, win, win, draw. We are on a draw and four wins. That does worry me. That really does worry me. When you're on the sort of form we are compared to their form, it's the sort of game where we'll probably slip up and lose 2-0. But hopefully not. Hopefully we can get a win here today as Combo Meal nods it forward. It's played back to Blom. Blom tries one over the top, but it's straight back to their goalkeeper. That was a waste. It pass from Blom. It was nowhere near anyone. Way too long and goes straight back to Afori. Now Afori's going to go route one. Will it work? Mafoho nods it away and Biliat will collect it. So no. But Sack inside to Nekovic. Nekovic is making a nice little run, but can he get past his man? He's going to put it back to Frostler. Frostler tries the ball over the top. Nice little dink. It had a little but much on it. Maybe a little bit of a lighter dink there. Could have got onto the end of it with but Sack, but. The goalkeeper in the end gets it and clears it away. But right now we've won the ball back as Alexander gets its dolly dolly. Lovely through ball. One on one with the goalkeeper. Come on, Necky. Samir. Samir, you've got to put that away. You've got to put that away. You're not trying to kick a rugby conversion. You've got to put it in the net. Got to put it in the net. But we've got another opportunity here. Billy Hatt tries to get it through, unfortunately. Bucksack can't get it. But the clearance has gone straight to Mafoho. Now Mafoho up to Frostler. He's going to play it inside to Billy Hatt. Billy Hatt's going to turn. Passes it back to Frostler. Frostler is still being pressured. Thankfully, passes it back to Billy Hatt. Now maybe go back to Frostler. Frostler has found a bit of space. Mafoho in the centre, though. Up to Nekovic. He's going to turn. Passes it to Dolly. Dolly's got a little bit of space. Oh, Dolly! Come on! Keegan Dolly. Fourth goal of the season. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one to end up in the back of the net. He found a little bit of space, but he was quite tightly marked still. But what a beautiful finish. Right in the bottom right. Right against the post. Dolly, beautiful effort. As you can see, squeezed by two players, but he don't care. Smashes it in. Less than 10 minutes in. We've got ourselves the lead. Come on. Come on, ladies and gents. Alexander tries another one over the top, unfortunately, nodded away. Now, can the Pirates get something going here today, or will we get all of that booty in this one? As Pulu will come down this right-hand side, now he's going to pull it back. I am going to have a little sip of my drink, because I am getting a little dry in the throat area. But, lovely through ball. Ooh, thankfully saved by the post. That was a close one. Mabeliso, though, will clear it away. Mabeliso, by the way, at the moment, is on a 6.8, showing exactly why he was demanding to be in the starting lineup. So I appreciate that from him. I appreciate that. Even though he demanded, 
he's showing why he should be in the lineup. Whereas a lot of players, they'll say, I should be in the lineup. You put them in, you get 6.3s out of them. Then the moment you took him out of the lineup. So I'm glad that he's actually showing some promise being in the team today. It is, is a bit of a shame, to be honest, having him and Halanti in this squad. They're both, they are both starters in my eyes. This formation works better than having to rigidly try and force both of them in. To force both of them in, we'd have to go more Christmas tree sort of formation. So it, it's disappointing having both. It's a nice issue to have. It's just disappointing when you can't make use of all of your great assets, assets especially when two are in the exact same spot. Piliat is struggling, by the way, speaking of very good assets at this team. He's on 6-6 six, six alongside Alexander and the butt sack as well as Blom. So our central midfield is struggling just a little bit as well as butt sack over on that right hand side. So hopefully we can get a bit more out of them. As you can see, one on target out of five. We do need to start shooting better. Thankfully, we do have the lead, but do need to be a little more accurate. I think we have to remember how important this is for the fans. Win for them. Exactly. Win it for them. Got to be demanding. Got to demand the win. We're playing our rivals. I know they're a good team, but it's a rival game. We've got to win every rival game, including this one. And we're almost up to substitution time. As we head in. Super Sport, by the way, 2-0 up in the game, as well as the prior results, which had already gone ahead. So I'm not going to read through them. Feel free, of course, if you are interested, but you should have seen them before the game. And it's probably better to look on that screen as well. Blom is on a 6.4 right now, and so is Alexander. So those are the two players I am going to focus taking off. Bacchus will come on for Blom, of course. Now, who do we bring on for Alexander? That is the question. Mr. Meerkats. I think Biliat swaps to that side since Biliat's also having a rough game. And Manyama comes on for Biliat in the play make a role. I could probably switch up Biliat from being a central midfielder. Give him a proper role as well. But I don't want to tweak it. Don't want to mess with it too much. It's a formula that's working well. We don't want to tinker. We'll just leave it. I know there's probably more ideal use for Biliat than just sh shifting him to the central midfield role and leaving him on that, but this is working. Nerky, over to Dolly. Dolly on this left-hand side. What can he do, though? Can he whip it in? Yes, low ball. Come on, Biliat, near post. 2-0, ladies and gents. We have finally got that cushion 20 minutes from time. With that one on target from five, it wasn't looking like we was going to secure it. But we finally have. So, Nekovic over to Dolly. He brings it out wide. Goes a little too close to the line for my liking, but does manage to deliver it along the ground eventually. As Billy Atz pokes it in at the near post. And Nekovic is a little bit tired right now, but we're going to hold on to our final sub. On the off chance that we have a player sent off or injured. It'd be nice to be able to fix any issues. By having that extra substitute available to us. I do feel a little sorry for them. If they wasn't our rivals. Because they have probably been better statistically than we have. But we've just taken our chances. We cannot be blamed for actually taking the very few chances we've got on target. Afori's going to clear it up now. It should be all but one. 15 seconds remain in this one. And then of course we shall be going over to that draw. But let's ball down this left hand side. Mafoho intercepts, but he is going to nod it back to them. Please do not give him a goal. Let's let Attila get his clean sheet. And he has. Come on, ladies and gents. Keegan Dolly. What a beautiful effort to kick things off. And then, of course, Biliat got himself 1 2. But Dolly got himself the player of the match. The best performer with that 8 rating. But without further ado, let's head on over and let's draw our rule for the second transfer window. Right, ladies and gents, you know exactly what time it is. It is, of course, time to play with our balls as we decide what rule we're going to get in the second half of the season. Now, of course, I just said we decide. We don't really decide, do we? The balls decide. But what do the balls want? Well, first of all, we are going to get them. 
a little bit of a jiggle. I apologise if that was a bit too loud. We are then, of course, going to give them a bit of a swish, just in case. And now, what shall our rule be? The rule is going to be... Oh, interesting. It shall be number 33. If that will just focus in just a little bit. Can we get some focus camera? Maybe we go a bit nearer and pull out. There we go. Number 33 shall be our rule. But what rule is number 33? Well, if we head on over to our nice little page here, all team talks will be done with our hands together. That would be an interesting one. I don't think I've ever used the hands together approach, so we are going to become like a priest, I guess. Every team talk is going to be our hands clasped together. Dear Lord, please give us victory in our next game. But the good news about that is it's not going to affect our transfers. So finally, we should be able to get ourselves a decent central midfielder to replace Alexander. But the real question is, who are we going to verse in the next episode? Well, let's head back into Football Manager and let's find out. Okay, so with the miracle being blessed upon us of us holding our hands together, every time we do a team talk, which is a little easier than having to try and find transfer targets who are six foot five and above, things in the transfer market should be a little bit easier. Now, if you have a little look on the right hand side, our finances are looking pretty darn good. They're a bit up and down. It looks like a bunch of mountains, but for the most part, our finances are good. So there's 2.2 million sitting in the bank. That's 140 grand's worth of profit since we joined at the start of the season, and we've got 117 grand to spend. But if you have a little look at the wage budget, we also have 21,500. Now, I don't think looking at the sort of wages our players are on, if we head on over to the squad screen that we're gonna need that entire amount our most expensive is on 10 grand so maybe if we bring two players in who are top notch maybe a central midfielder and a top striker both coming in on just a little bit more than Billy at then we might need that sort of money but I don't think we will I think what we'll end up doing is maybe keeping about 15 grand of it maybe even 10 and using the rest of course as transfer budget but who are we going to verse in the next episode because i don't even know because i've not really had a proper look at this fixture list since we did the draw for the champions league so we've got a game against amazulu in the next one that's 11th place we're going to skip over that we're also going to skip over the orlando pirates don't want to do them in back-to-back -back episodes even though that is a quarter final we then have Cosmos. Cosmos are in six. That might be a decent one. Sundown at home. I think we might come back for Cosmos. I don't want to come back against Stellenbosch just because, well, the 16th. It's a pain in the backside to try and say their name. Cape Town won't be a bad one. Although we could come back to them after Jomo Cosmos. I do like to come back for the away games. Sundown is a better game than the Joe Moss game, but I kind of want to come back for Joe Moss just so we can go and visit Joe Moss's stadium and explore the area around Joe Moss. Where is Joe Moss's stadium? You know, I'm not going to click it. I'm going to save it for myself, save it for any of you who don't specifically know where that team is based. But I think Joe Moss is probably where we're going to come back for in the next one. Hopefully we have a nice, decent team built up. Hopefully we've won our two games prior to that we're going to that with a bit of confidence as you can see we're on a nice little streak at the moment but that one will come to an end the question is will it come to an end in one of these two games the cosmos game or probably sundown is probably the one if not at least three managed to do it i think sundown will probably beat us at home but enough rambling from me i thank you all for joining us i hope you all have a lovely night i hope you enjoy the rest of your week and goodbye